All right, thanks, Ben. Our next question will come from Carlos Toro. Carlos, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Hi, gentlemen. Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. You know, first question to Errol, you know, obviously, you know, you're, you're back in the full, you're training and everything, but how did it feel just getting into that first sparring session, that first gym session after the accident and preparing for the fight? How did it feel to you just kind of getting back into the full, you know, physically and mentally? Um, at first, the first time I sparred, it felt, it felt kind of weird. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I feel real weird. But, um, after probably like the third or fourth, you know, sparring session, everything was just clicking. And now I'm just, I'm sharp as a tag now. So, you know, everything's back to normal. Um, you know, I, I feel like I wouldn't have no ring rust at all come December 5th. Hey, hey, quick, quick, yeah, quick, Derek, how did Errol, how has Errol looked so far in this training camp, kind of after that initial phase where he would just turn to just get back into the rhythm of things? Well, well he's when he was getting back to the rhythm and finding himself in the ring, he still was looking good. But I think it was the level of comfort that came in that made the difference. I mean, so it's like uh, he still looked good from the first day spot to each day after that. But when I think when you get more comfortable with um, just being back in the ring, being back home or whatever, it's uh, you can see a difference. It looked amazing. It looked good. You, everybody will see on December 5th, but, you know, what, who he really is. One quick question to Danny. You know, Danny, I know Angel was talking about the fact that, you know, bringing in world judges and not local judges, and you've had the two very close losses on the scorecards to Sean Porter and to Keith Thurman. Do you kind of look at this fight against Errol and believe that there is a sense of urgency or more pressure to kind of take the fight out of the judges' hands, even, you know, with trying to bring in uh, different judges to try to make the fight as fair as possible? Do you feel like a knockout is more of a priority this time around? You know, my job is to fight. At the end of the day, my job is to fight. I can't go in there and worry about judges. You know, the judges are going to do what they do. They're going to score the fight. My job is to put 110% in the gym and know that when I go in there, come fight night, I'll be ready. You know, that's my job. My job is to fight and win rounds and win fights. Um, the judges are not on my mind. You know, I can't worry about that. That's just a that's just a distraction. So at the end of the day, I'm worried about Danny Garcia being ready and going in there handling my business. And that's the only thing I know how to do. Thanks, gentlemen. Best of luck to the both of you. Come fight night. All right. Thanks, Carlos.